What is up guys and gals, welcome to Fallout Central, where Fallout is the center of topic. I know it's been a long time since we've been here, but I'm very happy to say that Fallout Central is finally back with a vengeance, and we're here, I'm here to talk about the Far Harbor trailer for Fallout 4. Uh, it's not a very fat or long trailer, it's about like a minute and 14 seconds probably, uh, with some, you know, Fallout or Bethesda uh, tiles at the end and the whole blood and gore shit in the beginning, so it's about one minute in length. Uh, if you haven't seen it already, go ahead and go check it out, it's a very good trailer for right now until we get the game um it's not it doesn't show too much but it shows enough to really get a grip on what is going on in the game and i'm gonna be breaking it down really quickly so right off the bat you can get a pretty quick look this looks like about six o'clock at night from the time they're coming in so there's probably gonna be a lot of sunlight in this game it's probably gonna be foggy for most of the, or cloudy for most of the time but the docks uh, i think it's somewhere around uh, maryland where you're in maryland or maine uh, we were coming in here and the houses look pretty cool, they're pretty high, uh, it looks like some apartment complexes or some condos. Please, bring my daughter home. Okay, so if you didn't already know, the main like story going into the Far Harbor is, uh, you're doing another mission or quest or whatever, some detective stuff for Nick Valentine. Uh, some woman's daughter has gone missing in Far Harbor and you're sent there to investigate what is going on. We've paid our dues in blood and bullets. So if you didn't already know, that sounds like a lot like the voice actor for Yasuo in League of Legends. Uh, it's He's a very good voice actor. He kind of reminds me of like, Troy Baker for these kind of games. Or just, I wouldn't really say RPGs, but he reminds me a lot of Troy Baker. Like, Troy Baker is more of like the really popular like shooters, uh, Last of Us, uh, Call of Duty. And now you got uh, the guy who voices Yasuo, or at least it sounds a lot like him in this trailer. This is our fight. Our island. Okay, so these machines right to the left and right look like the machines that uh, you can make in um, uh, Wasteland Workshop, where they kind of stop the the monsters from being hostile. So obviously, like the water is gonna be the big part of this, where monsters are in the water a lot, and we'll get more into that later on. Not yours. So he does say, um, the, "This is our fight, not yours." Stuff like that. So obviously, there's some sort of conflict going on here. So, if you, again, if you didn't already know, uh, this DLC is supposed to be bigger than any other Bethesda DLC ever. Uh, in, like, not really story-wise, but in length of the map, which is pretty big, because uh, Shipping Isles is pretty big in Oblivion, and uh, Dragonborn, I think, yeah, it was called Dragonborn, and Skyrim was pretty big, and the map was really awesome, too. So we get a look at some new armor. He's still... Um, you can hear the Geiger counter still going, so this is, you're still getting some sort of radiation from this, or it's just part of the trailer. The so there's some new enemies. It looks like some sort of uh, centipede thing in the water. Fog can do a number on you. So he's hunting with this guy right here. We'll get more into that later on. Get you all turned. Around. It looks like they also had lever action uh, rifles, and it looks like now they're in some sort of bar. So you're probably hunting animals to this guy, either to get something out of him. Or you're just hunting with them for some other reason. I'm not really too sure. Uh. So these things look like those. Uh... <clears throat> okay, so their hooks are pretty interesting. I'll get into more about like the hooks on their uh, light or their um, stems coming out of their head later on, because I think that might be part of a weapon. But these things are look like anglerfish that are supposed to be like really far down in the ocean, but they look like <laughs> now they're in the shallow ends of Far Harbor. Far Harbor has a right. So here's Nick Valentine and the female protagonist. The truth. They want the right to the truth. The so this, it looks like um, uh, what's that place called? Like where the nukes first fell in um, in Fallout 4, and you have to go to that one. It's the glowing sea. This looks like some. This looks like Far Harbor's version of the glowing sea. I don't think nukes actually fell here, but because there's barrels there too. But this just like looks like one radiated forest. People of Far Harbor need only peer out their windows to look upon the face of Adam himself. Given so, Adam, they're gonna have, I guess, the, the followers of the Apocalypse, not the followers of the Apocalypse, um, the children of Adam are gonna play a pretty big role in this DLC, from what I've seen so far, because of how much radiation is over here. But this armor looks really cool, it looks like some Halo-type armor. I'm really digging the, the look of this, the futuristic, like, like this visor on his face, that looks really cool. Form and hope. Okay, so this hook looks kind of like Leave. it looks somewhat like um, the hook earlier, just like more fashion from the anglerfish. 
I now that I guess I look at it, I don't think it is, but it definitely is interesting to speculate that. And uh, these ghouls look like they have like the fishermen um, like nets on them. Wonder why. Fog. So more new enemies, and they have, get, oh man, this looks like warning time. But it looks beautiful for being destroyed. I know peace can still be a. This looks like some sort of um, uh, not satellite, but um. Observatory, yeah, it looks like some sort of observatory. I'm guessing i gonna take a while, I guess, and say that the power, the windmill is powering this place so that they can observe uh, space. It looks like it would be, it may be fashioned into something else now because of the whole apocalypse thing, but it looks like this was once an observatory. Beat. And there's that one fish that you always find on the coast of Fallout uh, 4, probably near the, the, the northeast end of the map. You, find, you always find these fish, like, wash them on the shore. I doubt you're gonna be able to fight them. Um, that'd, be, that'd be really cool though, but they're always washed up. Peace? You call murdering one of ours peace? I definitely think that's Yasuo's voice from the uh, League of Legends, but he's saying uh, there he wants peace, and then the Yasuo uh, sound alike guy says, uh, "You call murdering one of ours peace?" So obviously there's going to be some sort of conflict going on between two factions, probably. <laughs> So that's what this, the anglerfish looks like when it jumps out. This again looks like some sort of centipede bug right here. And he does have a new. Careful. This. This is the most interesting part of the trailer. It looks like this is where the observatory is that was powered earlier. To get out of hand real fast. So Nick Valentine is some sort of like sentient being now. Uh, this is probably the most speculated part, but I'm not really too sure if I could call Valentine a good guy or a bad guy anymore. He looks. Like he used you for something, and now he's here, or he was modified somehow, or somebody did this to him, or he did it to himself. This is something that's gonna be really speculated, or sub speculated. The Vic Valentine was a good guy through Fallout 4. He was definitely the best synth you could possibly have, but I don't think he's just gonna go rogue out of nowhere. Um, something that we all have to speculate is whether or not this DLC takes place after the Institute. Uh, spoiler: alert, after the Institute is destroyed, or you're on the side of the Institute. Uh, it, does this DLC take place? Uh, when the institute, or when you beat Fallout 4, and I'm guessing it is because most of these endgame DLCs uh, that take you to a whole new area and uh, especially like the the last DLC of the DLC pack for Fallout 4 would probably take place after uh, the game is over. So you can only speculate that this takes place when the institute is gone or you're on the side of the institute. And Nick Valentine was good for most of the story. He, no, he was good for all the story. Uh, he was the, probably the best synth there ever was that could, you know help a human I guess be seeing that he was a detective but seeing him go rogue would definitely be interesting to the story I'm just wondering if he like why he would do this but again this is all for speculation we know nothing at this point or even if he is a bad guy at this point and that is the end of the trailer thank you all so much for watching if you did enjoy please like comment and subscribe if you are new my name is this and I'm signing out be smart be AO, and I will see you all in the next video